Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Are you subscribed to the channel? If not, please do subscribe. Click that notification bell. We are on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Okay, thank you so much to all of you for the warm reception you have given me with the hashtag advice with cat series. And this is going to be the second installment of that series where I'll be looking through your Instagram um, questions, things that you need advice on and all of that. So thank you so much for giving me this warm reception. And as you know, for future Advice with Cat uh, sessions, please hashtag Advice with Cat, retweet, repost, um, all of that. And for future ones, if you do want me to give you my advice on something, please put it in the comments section down below of this particular video. We're gonna get into the video now, I'm not gonna waste time, you guys know how it works. I'm gonna pull it up on Instagram right now. So we're gonna get into your questions or some what you would like me, ooh, what you would like me to uh, give advice on, I think we swipe up here. I'm right. gonna give you my advice. Now the whole purpose of Advice with Cat is that we're gonna learn from each other, we're gonna grow with one another, we're gonna make 2022 a way in which we can better deal with ourselves in relation to others, in relation to ourselves, by advising each other so that we can become better versions of ourselves. Thank you so much for seeing me as your big sister. I really do appreciate that. Puts a lot of pressure on me, I ain't even finna lie. But uh, I'm really, really excited to share all of these things with you and speak on topics that are important to us. So I'm gonna get into your scenarios, questions and all of that and I'm gonna answer them to the best of my ability. Let's get into it. Mm, my family doesn't seem to understand the whole mental issues topic. How did you get your family to understand your emotions? This is really, really good because I come from a family where uh, I've got very, very strong personalities around me, very strong personalities, and I'm slightly more on the more sensitive side, and mental health is a huge, big deal to me, and when I got diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, I had to sit my family down and actually speak to them about it. Do all of them get exactly what I mean with mental health, um, gen uh, generalized anxiety disorder. Not exactly, but making them aware of the situation by actually sitting down with them and communicating with them about it also puts them in a position where they are equipped to deal with you better or find out more uh, when it comes to mental health and what it is that you're struggling with. So the biggest thing that I would definitely advise is speaking to family members or people that you trust who can then relay the message to people that you're not, you, you might still be afraid to discuss it with, um, better to the family or to your friends or whoever it is that you need to communicate it with. It is a very difficult topic, especially in black families where it's not as understood, but it's getting better. And um, there's a lot of black parents that I have seen on Twitter where the kids will tweet and all of that, where uh, you can see that they are adjusting and learning more about what mental health is and it, the importance of understanding uh, when your child, sibling, friend, uh, anybody struggles with mental health and how to approach them in their difficult days. So it's really, really important to actually sit down and talk to them. You don't have much of a choice. Show them, drop hints, drop articles, send them links in which they can read and see, um, but it's going to take time. I do think even for myself personally that um, my father sometimes understands it and then sometimes just kind of loses his way a little bit, but also be, um, also be sure of yourself and how, if you're having mental health days, uh, give yourself that opportunity. Do not pretend just so that uh, you can make your family happy. Do not pretend to want to be in a family function and all of that if you really don't want to be there. If you don't want to be there, don't be there. And that will show them really in one way or other that, okay, this is actually a serious thing for this person to not even attend 
family functions or for this person to actually uh, address this and this in such a way uh, will you know make them warm up to the to to your struggles a little bit more um, I hope that answers your question hope that answers your question hi cat I'm a student willing to start a YouTube channel but I don't have the right material can you advise honestly it's as simple as every other YouTuber who speaks about this says it. If you've got a phone, you've got access to Dana, which is data, and if you've got access to the internet and you can upload regularly, start there. You don't have to get to a position where you've got softbox lighting and you've got a 110% beautiful camera that does great quality and all of that. You don't have to start there. All of us started somewhere and a lot of great phenomenal YouTubers and content creators, whether for Instagram, TikTok or um, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever, use their phones. To get out and, and and do their thing and they make money off of that and so don't ever be discouraged or disheartened by the fact that you don't have certain equipment or certain things as long as you have a phone that you are happy with the quality of the phone and you're happy with everything and you've got access to Dana and uh, daughter <laughs> and internet access go just run with it but really truly be authentic to yourself because there are a lot of content creators who are projecting a certain lifestyle on youtube which is one of the things that i've seen on youtube myself hence i can't i struggle to watch a lot of south african content creators because i feel like they're projecting a certain lifestyle that is completely unrelatable to the average south african person um, and also the messages that it gives off is kind of just ugh. so truly be authentic to yourself and just start with whatever it is that you have as long as there's Dana and as long as there's a phone that can get image quality and and videos and whatever do it just start just start hi cat Hey girl, I've been single for three years and now I'm lonely, but still, I scrutinize everything. I could be talking to a guy and once he says something in Nani like, I don't have airtime, I get turned off. <laughs> well, um, look, I, th I think still single is fine. Let's also acknowledge the fact that being single is okay. Let's acknowledge the fact that people can be single and not lonely. People can be single and not feel like they're alone. So acknowledge the fact that it's okay to be single. Um, but also I think be broaden your horizons a little bit when it comes to, um, finding partners. It's really, really hard to find just good people out there. People are really crappy sometimes, okay? So just maybe be a little bit easy. If somebody says, I'm not at time and whatever, that shouldn't be enough reason to be like, ah, yeah, whatever. That person could be joking. If they don't have air time and they never do and whatever, and that's not the type of person you're about, then keep it moving. But open your uh, windows a little bit more and broaden your horizons a little bit more when you're trying to find a partner. You can find somebody that is completely different to the types of people that you would normally go for and you have to open yourself up to that. A lot of us end up with people that are completely out of the trajectory of what we look for when we look for partners, but it ends up working out. I'm not saying get a broke man. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, but I am saying that maybe open up your horizons a little bit, try online dating, go out a little bit more if you can with your friends, if it'll make you feel more comfortable. And if you're not one to go out alone, then do it with your friends. Uh, but, 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 um, actively put yourself out there if it is what you want. If you're looking to find someone, you cannot find someone if you're sitting in the house, not trying any other way and hoping that he will drop like manna from heaven. That's not gonna happen. So try. This is related to my career. I recently started uh, for started working for a big auditing firm and I just got an opportunity to go to one of the four big banks and I'm uh, confused of what you need to do. I think in this case, I'm not, I don't know much about auditing and working for banks and all of that. So I don't know which one would work best for you. I think you need to take into cognizance what 
is important to you. Have a look at the organizational structure of all these different places that you want to work with. How is the organization in and of itself? Is it progressive? Is it not? Is it very limiting to work for a bank as opposed to working for the other auditing firm? Where do you feel like you will gain more experience? That kind of thing. Sit down, weigh out the pros and cons and see which one works for you. I really hope that the video will come out while you're still deciding but I'm not quite sure but I do hope that you make the right decision for you uh, but put yourself first here uh, money is also an issue if you feel like right now what matters to you is a larger salary then go with that whatever works for you at this present time but look at the organizational structures of that place are you going to be limited there are you going to grow there what are the chances what are the pros what are the cons and then take it from there I hope that helps. Hi Kat, I need tips on being kinder to myself, especially after making mistakes. I talk about this as well uh, in my videos, maybe not too many of them, but sometimes you do need to realize that we are human, we are going to make mistakes. You're not the only one. That is what defines us about being human. We make mistakes, how we respond to those mistakes, whether we wallow in it, whether we decide, okay, I've made a mistake and now I need to change it or I need to rectify it or how can I approach it so that this doesn't happen again or all of that is a way in which you can be kinder to yourself. Realize that we all make mistakes. You're not the only one. Uh, it's what you do about it that matters the most going forward. If you're going to choose to wallow in the mistake that you have made, you're really not benefiting yourself in any way. But if you choose to move forward, rectify, change, learn from it, and then do better going forward, then that's something too. So do be kinder to yourself in the sense that know that everybody makes mistakes. You're not the only one. I made a couple of mistakes today, child. But here we are. <clears throat> okay. Compatibility versus love in relationships. That is a long one and it is a very broad one. What about compatibility versus love in relationships? Are you saying that do we look for compatibility? Are you saying that do we look for love? Are you saying that the two are mutually exclusive? Are you saying that the two are mutually inclusive? I'm going to need a lot of the time with these ones I need a little bit more detail as to what you're trying to communicate with me hence why I say please drop me a DM and then I can look at it and then know exactly where you're coming from so I can answer you appropriately and in a way in which will help you I hope that helps mm, how do I deal with self-doubt I want to go for my dreams but something keeps holding me back me back telling you I need you when my every time I try to go something can... okay Something keeps self doubt is normal. We all struggle with self doubt, like there is nothing new there. We always struggle with self self doubt, but I feel like when it comes to jumping into something, it's a risk that you have to take. You have to be brave, you have to be courageous, you have to tell yourself that look. If it works out, it works out great, fantastic. If it doesn't, it's another opportunity for me to do better and do it better so I can be better for myself. So give yourself that opportunity to see it that way as opposed to saying that I don't know if I can do this, I don't think I can, I'm gonna let it go, I'm gonna whatever, whatever. No, you deserve to afford your, yourself I'm talking too fast. You deserve to afford yourself the opportunity to actually try. And a lot of the time, trying and achieving something means getting all the way out of your comfort zone and doing things that you not ever, ever expected that you would do. I feel like there's a run, fly away, whatever. Um, but uh, you have to jump out of your comfort zone. Like your comfort zone is here. Have you seen that little picture? Your comfort zone is here and you have to be here. Uh, when you are going for your dreams and um, so Definitely don't be hard on yourself But at the same time also remember that you are the biggest person that will hold yourself back So sometimes you need to go against yourself and actually take the leap of faith and take the risk Because nothing ever comes out of staying in your comfort zone. I hope that answers your question What advice would you give to a 20 year old cat? Um, have fun live your life 
there is a lot more that you're going to experience. You're going to realize that life is not black and white. It's gray. There is a lot of gray. People are very much imperfect. You are imperfect too. You're going to learn as you go. Open yourself up to change. Change is ever constant. So you need to know that, you know what, I am, I'm willing to see it. Broaden your horizons. Do not blindfold yourself and go that way. Do not walk through your life with blinders on. Have a peripheral view so you can see all the way around. Have vision like an hour. Look all the way around. Um, learn as you go. Uh, find value in things and people, um, certain things and certain people. Draw inspiration from what you see, the emotions you experience, the memories that you make, and realize that life is to be enjoyed. Mistakes will happen. Um, you will be hurt. You will be broken. Okay, people are gonna hurt you, people are gonna, but you're gonna achieve, you're gonna soar, you're gonna fly, but you need to give yourself that opportunity to do so. Okay, so that is the really simply advice that I would give. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave this one here. We'll start the next one because my flat camera is flashing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, comment, like, all of that, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, okay, bye.